Okay, so this is my going to be my uh, new setup for uh, my Salma Poas Langan Bouchetti, who is due a rehouse. Um, still kind of about two inches, but this enclosure I had my Cambridge eye in it for I think about half a year, and it it was fine. Um, Salma Poas is actually don't really need too much height; they tend to just sort of live in um, the cork bark here. Um, but it's about, it's, I think it's 10 inches high and 10 inches wide. So it's, you know, if, if the Langham Bacheri gets really big, I'll rehouse it in, say, six months' time from now. But it'll be fine for now. So um, I've got a little plant here. I can't remember the name offhand, but hopefully that's going to grow up. Um, substrate I'm using is a mixture of uh, cocoa fibre and uh, compost from the garden centre, which I bake in the oven for an hour. I do that with my cocoa fibre as well. So let's try and get the little chap out. I can see actually my, um, what's it called? Uh, polka who's out and about. It's just molted. That one's going to be rehoused as well into a similar enclosure. So this is the new Debbie. Um, Debbie, one of my subscribers, um, likes Salma Poesis and loved my P. Erminia, so I thought I'd name this one, which will hopefully be as beautiful as my last female, um, Debbie Mark II. <laughs> so um, yeah, fingers crossed she's not too uh, grumpy with this. Um, just trying to figure out the best way of doing it, whether to, to sort of try and tickle her out. And the problem is obviously um, they tend to just live in the cork bark, so you have to sort of squidge them out, and of course then when you do that they'll probably do a runner. Um, but let's, let's see what's happening. I'll use my... Where is she? Or he? might be in this bit of bark here. I would like to see the tea because don't haven't got to see it too much. Um, I'm just checking to see if it's in uh, uh, damn it uh, it's annoying. Trying to get out a water um, dish. No, it's not in there, so it must be in the cork bark, which will mean trying to tickle her out um, so you guys can get a look at her. That's still in focus. Right, my, um, what I might do is lift this up a bit so we can get a bit of a close-up. I perhaps should have thought this before I did started it, but now we've started, we will finish. Um, I'll just need the extra one. So, now we should be able to see better which we can uh, zoom in a bit more. Right, let's see if we can find her. Um, oh, I think she's coming out. Don't particularly want to get bitten. Right, sorry, sweetheart. Oh, well, she seems to be up me. Oh dear. And now she's jumped. Oh dear. What are you doing? She's alright. 
No more jumping, thank you. And here is the new Debbie. Uh, whoops. If she could stay still for a second. Uh, I can't seem to... Sorry about this. There she is. That's a little close up. So she's sort of okay. Yeah, I didn't expect her to bolt and then sort of climb on me, but um, oh, I'm still not going into focus. There she is. And we'll get this little one in. And of course now I need to zoom out from my hand. Okay. Uh, focus again. It's a problem when you're using a camera that doesn't really have a, a focus. But that's quite a nice um, little shot. So they're quite sort of purpley and golden. What I'm going to do is just stick her there. Or him. And... Uh, We'll go down inside that bit of bark. Just remove this. And yep. Oh, the focus is annoying. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that wasn't quite as smooth and as planned as possible, but uh, I wasn't particularly worried that uh, about getting bitten because of the size and. But yeah, ideally you don't really, that's, this is probably, I might clear, rename this video of not, not to do in a rehouse. Don't let the tarantula crawl on you. But, um, you know, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty chilled with this one, I think. And also polka, I'm not too worried about. Cambridge Eye, when they're a bit bigger, yes, you don't really want them climbing on you. But when they're, they're small and I mean, two or three inches, then it's still a risk. But anyway, I'm witching on. Hope you enjoyed the vid. And um, we're going to do a rehouse of my polka next, after I've shown you her feed, um, which will be in a couple of days' time, uh, or maybe about four days, actually. Um, and then we'll do a rehouse, and that'll be how to rehouse without <laughs> handling. And uh, we'll be more organised, so uh, cheers for watching.